Kevin Kiermeyer settles in to start the inning. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. And he starts the number eight hitter with a son in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, man. In particular, that. into right center and that ought to be good enough for extra bases around second he's on his way to third and they feel good about the triple it. but I know the how managers thing. thinking he's in the yeah. dugout wishing that Boy. triple would have come when some guys were on base they've left a lot of guys out there in this one we'll see if his teammate can bring him home G-Man Choi the next to hit. There's he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 0-1 on its way. Fastball called for strike two. This is where as a batter you got to find a way to put something in the outfield get something elevated I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect but if anything is belt or above you got to swing line toward the gap in left center that gets down he's got himself a base hit and they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score hey D I think we got a case right now this team they're just feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some runs and it looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired leaving some of these pitches up in the zone yeah and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now guys are licking their chops knowing he's a little bit tired gonna leave stuff over the middle of the plate won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going in now, Willie Adamas, as he will take strike oh, one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Fly ball out toward left center field. Going after it is Gordon. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And that will bring up Joey Wendell. One in, one Joey. out, and one on here in the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Strike taken up in the zone. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Boy, right down the middle for strike two. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Here it comes, 0-2. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Didn't mess around much in that the at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Probably. Matt. I really like a pitcher yeah. that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Ready with the 0-1. Hit hard on the ground is short. Owings is there. Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side. A couple of hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Rays three. Leading off the inning, Chris Owings. To as they'll look to get something going here. And even this stop. game up. Hey, we're Red. still in the early stages in this one. Only oh, down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 oh, and 2. Line drive to left. And the Royals are in the hit column. 
Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too the much of the plate. 15. Nice execution Second by the hitter. With Merrifield. With Merrifield next to hit. Runner at first to start the inning, and Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry, and if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Royals. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit hard on the right there he's got a six now game hit streak going. you know what and this could be this could lead him on to something some bigger and better sure. things right here he's been swinging the bat pretty well and he's been rewarded for it as you talked about six game hitting streak so far that's but it's ruled the ball one and all well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. And he misses two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. And a splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head. One gone. Now batting. Number 66. At the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. From the stretch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. Owings over at second. Merrifield at first. One gone. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. And now a run comes across. That was just great awareness out there on the base pass. He bolts for third the instant the ball skips away, but he keeps his eye behind the plate all the way. And when he sees they're having trouble with it, he rockets home to score. Love that aggressiveness. A ball and two strikes now. The one-two is taken for That's ball two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Three and two to the Royals' designated hitter. Pass ball too low, and that's ball four. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's that's given up, along 13. with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. So striding in, Salvador Perez. Here's the first pitch to him. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A ball and a strike. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Hit back up the middle, right to him. To second for one, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Lowe. A hit in two tries for him so far. Number eight. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. And, and now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both a southpaw and a right-hander get loose. The 0-1 delivery. Swing and a liner. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands so inside that ball, so stay right square as long as opposite possible, side. and feed Start. it into the opposite field for a base hit. Now at the plate, Avisail Garcia. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Here comes the 0-1. Line towards center field. Hamilton, patrolling center, makes the play one out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal the with the rain coming down, Rabbit. and that can make Dark every home. play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. So a runner at first with one man gone, and up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. From the stretch. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Grounded back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on Not that bad. lineup card because he's on fire. Season. That's his Anthony. second hit of the ball game right Better. there, and I don't see him stopping. Stepping in now, Anthony Maddox, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Strike two on a fastball right down the middle. Now the 0-2 pitch. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Low isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. A tag from Perez. He's out at the plate. Now batter, the center fielder. Kevin Kiermaier. Standing in Kevin Kiermaier. And we'll see what he can do here with a. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is pulled into right. Bonifacio is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Ray's strand a pair, and it's still three to one. So striding forward now, Lucas Duda. Where Things not looking Northern very Royal. good so far in this one, but the we're still in the man. middle innings. They're down Lucas. by a couple of runs, and this Duda. will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And Duda behind 0-2 now. On, he squares this one nicely, and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. Hey, guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there, keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. You just sensed it was coming with the heaviness of the rain and all the radar maps that we're seeing online lead us to believe this will be at least an hour. Matt, this has the makings of we're going to see two different pitchers come out after this delay. The conditions are bad. It looks like this rain is going to be around for a while. I'd be a bit surprised if either of these pitchers come back out. Well, the rain has finally passed us as we welcome you back. Jake Faria comes on as the new pitcher following the lengthy delay, and it looks like he's just about ready to go.
In now, Alex Gordon. Lifetime against this pitcher. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fouled off. Goodness. 0 oh 2 now. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That's right not an at bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Inside with the first pitch splitter, and it's 1 0. Two balls and no strikes for Jorge Bonifacio. Duda leads off first with one away. Ball to strike on the inside part of the plate. Two and one. Love that pitch right there. And he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early and they can't make good contact on that pitch. Count full. Three balls and two strikes. And the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Really good late bite on that That's slider right there. The best six. ones have that late action Billy. that just darts at the last Hamilton. minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Back to the top of the order now. And in to hit next, the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. And Garcia will tuck this one in, and that ends the inning. One left for Kansas City. They still trail it here three to one. Number 55 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 55. Digging in now, G-Man Choi, single homer bat. run in his last the time up. G-Man Choi. First pitch on its way. Hey. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. The slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hamilton is there, and he has it for the first out. The batter, number one. Up next for the Rays, Willie Adamas. So far, two for three in this one. He's set and the pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now, bad. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a fastball called for strike one. You know, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Bonifacio's in pursuit. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Rays go in order, one, two, three. But they hang on to a three-to-one lead. 
Here's Chris Owings now. He'll lead it off as we start the home six. Not short stop. First offering on its way. Away. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The batter number 15. So stepping in, Mick Merrifield. Merrifield. First pitch on its way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Hey. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2 and 1. Somebody needs to go rattle the cage right here. Take the bats and start throwing them all over the dugout to get these boys going. If this continues, I guarantee you, you see a different lineup tomorrow. 3 and 1 to him now. The 3 and 1 pitch. He loses him on ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Now, Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. The young thought it was just a tad off the plate. Third. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Merrifield, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Left field. Pham is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. So digging in now, Ryan O'Hearn. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. A runner on first with two away. That ball two. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes. With a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up in a 2-0 count, there's a pretty good chance if he hits this, he's going to hit it hard down that first baseline. So if you're the first baseman right now, be on your toes and be ready for a bullet. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. So next to the plate for the Royals, Salvador Perez. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Well, the Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. Now a long throw home. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. A couple of walks, but no damage. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on MLB Network. Ladies Brad Foxberger is on to pitch from the bullpen now to now start inning number seven. Oil. Number 26, Brad Foxberger. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tommy Pham. He's working on a one for three thus far. Tommy Pham. First pitch coming. Here it is. A high fastball is in there. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. No ball, two strikes. High in the air out to center field. 
Hamilton has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Now batting. Coming Number to the eight. plate now, Brandon Lowe. Two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Boxberger is at least partially known for a good changeup. And it's not just any change of speed pitch, it dances all over the place. 0 and 2, here it is. Ripped on the ground to first. Duda's up with it. And a step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now that Ready now, Abisail right Garcia. Abisail. No hits for him yet in the game, Garcia. despite his team's offensive onslaught. Now here's the pitch. In there at the knees, strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Rays, as the lead remains 3-1. to one. Here's Lucas Duda now. He'll try to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. The 0-2 once more. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Duda is retired, and there's one away. The left fielder, number four. Here's the left fielder, Alex, Alex Gordon. He struck out Gordon. swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The windup and the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And that misses, two and one. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Three and one to him now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The next 3-2. And another foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. A bouncer to the left side. Maddox is up with it. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. Everything looked routine until the throw. He just rocketed that thing directly over the first baseman's head. I mean, he's a pretty good athlete, but he had absolutely no chance to come down with that one. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Gordon, a runner at second with one away. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Bonifacio is retired, two down now. The center fielder, number six. Digging in the switch hitter, Three. Billy Hamilton. Hamilton. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort.
Now the one and one pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Kiermaier. Still ranging back. This one is out of here. This game is tied. Two run shot to straight away center. His first home run of the season. And the Royals will draw level now at three apiece. Some guys just have a knack for the dramatic. He comes up in a big spot and just cranks one out of here to even the score. Not a bad time to hit your first homer of the year, huh? Into the box, now Chris Owings. As he takes a cold strike at the oh, knees, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. One and two, the counts of the Royals shortstop. The one-two. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. He'll try again, one, two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pretty standard curve in the dirt, looking for a strike out there, but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. Full count, three and two. Now the three and two pitch. He spoils another one and will do it again. Payoff pitch one more time. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So two runs on one hit and the one hit was a big one, the home run. Eighth inning coming up and we are all tied at three. Tim Hill is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 54. Yeah. Hill. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Last time through was a base hit. Travis Darno. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. This is line to left. And that's going to be a base hit. So a good start is the possible go-ahead run is aboard to start the eighth. Hey, Dero, not a bad day. night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take Anthony. three for four every day Better. of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. In now, Anthony Maddox lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Again, another foul ball. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great that movement on that slider, and it completely locked up the hitter. Kevin. Didn't fool the umpire, though.
Standing in now, Kevin Kiermeyer. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh one, here's the pitch. He pulls this one into right. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Now batting the first baseman, G-Man Shore. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. He's set. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon is there. And that's the third out. Ray's strand just the one. Still tied three to three. Digging in, Whit Merrifield, a Leading hidden two at bats for him. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Emilio Pagan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 15, Emilio Pagan. First delivery to him on the way. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Grounded to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping up to the, the plate, Hunter pitcher. Dozier. He could Hunter. really use a knock here, 0 for 3 Hunter. in the game so far. Here's the pitch. Ah. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now battle. Striding forward now is the DH, Ryan O'Hearn. It was a walk in his last trip. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. No change in the score. It's three to three. Kevin McCarthy will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. At the plate, Willie Adamas. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ninth Aye. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. You got to throw that one out the window if you're an offensive player right there. You know this guy is predominantly a sinker ball pitcher. Aye. High fastball. He's got to show me that a few more times for me to honor it. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Hamilton is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batter. The into the box eight. now, Joey, Joey Wendell. He comes into this Wendell. appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the first pitch. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Tommy Fair. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Into the wind, the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right. 
And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he will get there as the go-ahead run is quickly to third now, now with the two-out triple. Eight. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play, and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it, and you're picking yourself up and chasing it. Stepping in now, Brandon Lowe, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third, two men out. Ready with the 0-1. Line drive to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. All squared up in Kansas City through eight and a half. The Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Leading he up. steps Lord in off Royal. a base hit in his last the at bat. Salvador. Here's the pitch. Perez. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The 0-1 pitch. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. A solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. They say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. one but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference he's the tops player of the game yeah he came through with a multi-hit game and more importantly they were big hits he was a key contributor to the outcome of this one And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Royals came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Kevin McCarthy claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Four runs on six hits.